folks. Nick Barnaby here with the Digby Model Railway in Digby, Nova Scotia. And we are talking all things railway. So after a brief stint of not being at the railway, shamefully, um, I've been doing a little work been a while, as you know, since I've put anything out on the web, and uh, I believe now is a good time as ever to have a video. So, the railway, just to recap, is set in the 50s. I think I said 1956 is when the railway was set. We made a few changes. So it's 1952. Uh, to be correct, July 13th, 1952. And so the railway itself existing to extract coal and iron from Robertson Cross um, takes everything to Gellisway. Right? That's where uh, everything gets taken to and shipped off to um, a steel firm. So the railway itself exists as a whole to serve um, the steel industry. So the railway itself should not be as big as I'm allowing it to be. Um, but that's just it. The railway had to connect to um, the Great Western Railway to allow the iron and coal to get to other uh, steel firms. So the layout, of course, is only the section where the iron is mined and taken over to Gellisweg, so, you know, that makes sense. But on the other hand, there's other industries on the railway that are being served, so it's not like the tracks, um, class one tracks, as it were, in America. Um, I'd like to say that the railway is at least a class two railway. What else can I say? So on the railway, um, we've had a few things added, just because the railway is never finished. So we've added static grass, we've added, oh, it happens a lot of stuff, just all sorts of work being done, all sorts of work being done. With that work comes money and with money well we live in 2024 in Canada there's not a lot of money so we done what we could you know a friend of mine uh, who's actually joined on the railway to get things done um, he's helping me get a lot of stuff put in We've had almost 200 figures added. There's a spot in Robertson Cross now where freight can be unloaded to go to the passenger station. And ultimately the town behind the passenger station. So Robertson Cross isn't just a little mining town. There's uh, the shops. There's houses now, huge buildings, grocery store. Um, the town's just booming, which makes sense because you know if you're in an iron, you know if you're in an iron area, rich in iron, coal. Of course, the town's gonna prosper because there's gotta be people there, and it also timeline of the railway makes sense because 
first it was the mine. Well, the mine grew. Mine take uh, iron and coal, and you'll see that here. And of course, where there's a mine, you gotta have a pump house. Pump houses are essential to mines to make sure that none of the people drown. Makes sense. Well, you get tons and tons of iron moving. Well, of course your town's gonna grow. And uh, when the phenomena of engines with faces, um, you know, when that happens, sometimes you get a visit from a man in a blue police box. Um, this must be a really special case that the doctor just couldn't figure out because he's got the he's got the famed. Han Solo, captain of the Millennium Falcon next to him, coming down trying to figure out as to why steam engines grew faces. So there's a, uh, there's a, uh, there's a connection to all this. I guess Han Solo and the Doctor are going to figure it out together. Well, Robertson Cross isn't only place to get updates. And as you might have been able to tell, there was a bit of an infestation. We have pigeons, we've got seagulls, and we've got crows. We've even got a hawk. I haven't quite figured out what I not want to name him yet, but I feel like uh, Tony would be a nice name. Yeah, Tony the Hawk. That sounds real original. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. It's my railway. I can do as I please. Well, Gelliswick, you know, we got to go over to Gelliswick, but uh, there's one little town that we have to stop in before we get there. Well, what would that town be other than her Branston? And unlike our favorite towns of Galliswick and Herbranston or Galliswick and Robertson Cross Herbranston is just a small little area which kind of mirrors what it is in the real world unlike Robertson Cross which I'm not too sure what's in Robertson Cross other than uh, some sort of factory not too many towns in Robertson Cross. Um, her Branston does mirror um, its real life counterpart. Not too many houses, not too many trees, but somehow there's a logging area there. So the logs are brought in by train, chopped up into lumber, and, uh, you know, it's not a big, big factory where they bring these pieces of logs in. Everything is large enough to fit on the saw, small enough to fit on the back of a train without having too much issue. So we've got special freight cars that were brought into Germany. Um, Wonderful deal, by the way. Just absolutely astonishing for a deal. Um, we got freight cars. We got some open box wagons. And there's also your passenger coaches, which you can see in Gelliswick now. So Gelliswick is the port for the whole operation. Barge comes in, picks up a load of iron or coal and takes it off to the steel firms. Now it's not a big barge, but we are looking into that. I plan, I'm looking at a barge right now. I plan on getting it probably by the time this video gets put out, I'll have an order for a new barge put in. Um, 
which will literally take what we are moving now and quadruple it. The barge will be able to handle the amount of iron that is being shipped by train, which is nice. So it'll be more realistic because right now the barge is only able to take about the same weight and whatnot of a three plank wagon, which isn't very much. You can't really do much with it. So there will be two barges moving at all times. Now why would I keep two barges running? One is smaller than the other. Well that's just it. You gotta keep things moving. And some of the rail cars that I have are bigger than the other ones. So there's going to be more product being moved that any excess is going to need to have somewhere to go. So, theoretically, if I was to take and load up one of the big barges, take, take the big barge, load it up, whatever's left over can go in that smaller barge, the iron will be moved, theoretically the money will be in. So the iron will be moved, money will be being made, I see that as a win. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that Gellisway has grown since you guys last seen it. The whole railway has grown, really. Um, more detail. The, the Soldiers Memorial Park has been finely tuned. There's ducks in the bay. There's heron. I'm looking at replacing two of these boats with uh, actual models of fishing boats and not things that were just brought from different places. But as for now, you know, it's my railway. I do as I please. And uh, that's just how it is. Um, we built sheds. So now I can store all my locomotives there that will be running around Gelswick and over to the uh, iron mines so the engines will be staying in Gelliswick over by the sea and any engines that come in any engines that come in will uh, they'll have an early start to the day because I checked it out on Google Maps Gelliswick is a nice long way from the destination that the end of this railway is. Which sounds like a lot. But it's even more when you add in that this railway is going to have industries that will need to be taken care of. It's going to have all sorts of stuff. It's just right now I don't have the room for it. So it's just how it is. But until I have room for it, I have this, 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 and birds that for some reason have wire coming out of their back. Yeah. I do have plans for that. That's... Huh. I do have plans for that. Because in real life, there's no wires coming out of the back of the birds. So I'm thinking I might take something like a black paint, painting over that. Because I know that silver, that kind of, you know, jumps out, quote unquote, from the font. It really, it's just distracting really you're you're there to look at the seagulls and the birds and all the shenanigans that are on the railway and when you have something silver sticking out of the, the, the 
ground or up to a bird, that's kind of distracting. It's cool, because there's flying birds, but it's distracting. So now that you guys have seen some of the updates of the railway, hopefully when you guys next see this, there will be, you know, not just the cars, not just the birds, uh, not just the fleet getting bigger, but boats, actual boats like you see here. That boat there was designed after the MV Meganova. So if you're not familiar with boats, MV has a very special meaning. And that special meaning is not in my head right now. And so I will be tagging the meaning of MV now. And now that I posted that up there, it just pops in my head, it's motor vessel. So a vessel that is motorized. Let's see how right I am when I actually post the real, like, meaning of it. Um, because I know 100% that was not the meaning. But I'm just taking a, sh taking a shot in the dark here. You know, if I got it right, please subscribe to me. Because that, maybe the luck will just rub off on you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. Speaking of subscribing, if you like the work that uh, we here at the Digby Model Railway have done, maybe, just maybe, you could consider giving me a like. And if you really want to make my day, throw a subscription my way. Now, you got to bear in mind that I'm a construction worker, so... I don't have much time to be producing videos and stuff, but I promise that whenever I can make a video, it's going to be on here. For those of you who have children, I also have a Thomas series on here, which I'm actually kind of surprised because the last video I posted was called Dutch Drop Troubles or something like that. And it's got over 400 views. So that made me pretty happy. So thank you guys for that. That that That's made me pretty happy. That's made me pretty happy. Well, I'm home. I got food I gotta go make. Because I got a two-year-old who eats everything. And uh, I've got a wife who's been working all day, who uh, also is an essential worker. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video, probably six months from now. Um, hopefully not. If I can get to in YouTube videos... And make content that you guys enjoy. Then I'm going to be doing it. And if I can't, you know, that's okay. I'll still, I'll still make these videos and post it on here anyway. So that way, when I'm gone, my child will have something to remember me by, you know. But anyway. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm getting hungry. I think I'm having chicken tonight. Chicken would be good right now. I think I'm going to go have some water, too. Water and chicken's pretty good, ain't it? Maybe put some hot sauce on the chicken. Yeah, I'm going to put some hot sauce on the chicken. Yeah, that's just what I'm going to... Maybe... Hey, hey. Mm. I'll make potatoes with gravy and cheese. Oh. oh. See ya. We've got some open box wet. Oh, we got some open box wagons. I uh, please sign into your vehicle before driving. Have to sign into my vehicle before I drive. I 
see that as a win. What I don't see as a win is this road that I'm traveling on. They just bounced me around, okay? There will be more birds. My camera will stay still and record me and not be bouncing all around. There, if you can't tell, I fixed the camera. I just wanted to take after the Toy Man television. I, I really love his videos, so I'm gonna tr I'm trying to make a video like his, but it's not working well. So, uh, Dale, if you see this, how do you do it? Because <laughs> I really want to know. Yeah, I'd really like to know, bud. Mega vessel. I don't know. It's got something to do with boats. Probably gonna delete that part. That's a blooper.